Hey, what's going on friends? Welcome to the Mr. Pogo channel. In this video, I will be giving you a quick look at Business Hub, which I built inside of Notion. This is a long last and all-in-one business tool that helps you to build, manage, and boost your online business. Business Hub is the most advanced business and startup Notion template that helps you manage every aspect of your SaaS product, digital product, a startup, and in general, your online business. You can manage and track your products, marketing and growth, teams, project, tasks, strategies, brand and brandings, and everything else you can imagine and you need in your journey to build, run and succeed in your business. Your business tools should make your job as a leader or as a player in a small or big teams easier, faster and better. Business Hub does that. Now let's dive into the business hub. On the homepage, there are several different areas that are split into five separate columns. So I've got a brand hub, product hub, growth hub, company and project, and finance management. Let's begin with the brand strategy. In terms to create a great brand and tackle your branding efforts, you need to be a strategic about your brand. What is your brand mission? What about your brand promise and personality and tone of voice? You can research and brainstorm everything about your brand, then define your brand in this section. So you and your team have access to it. Everyone knows the exact things about the brand strategy and no one would do the things that are not matched to your brand strategy. Doing this helps to create one solid brand. Next, let's check out the brand identity and element section, where you and your brand designer can showcase the visual aspect of the brand such as logos, colors, icons, imagery and more. This helps the team to stay on brand and get access to brand visuals quickly without having to call or message anyone in the team and yet to be sure that they are using the latest version all the time which helps to consist the brand elements in the product, marketing material and all over your business and teams. Then we have the product management dashboard. You can manage your product milestones, roadmaps, sprints, product specifications, user stories, competitor analysis and more. In the sprint and retrospective section, you can manage product design and development cycles. Get feedback for each sprint and keep planning better sprint. With the product specification, you can describe the products or features you want to build. Discuss and vote for it with the team and you can prioritize with the impact versus effort model. With the prioritize backlog section, you can prioritize the feature and products with AARRR and RICE models to make sure that you are going to build the right product at the right time. As you can see, there are more sections to explore here, but I'm going to skip those sections so you can explore them all later. Before going further, I want to show you the tips and guide sections that help you to learn how each feature will work. As you can see, in these yellow colors, I've written tips about each feature. This helps you to learn the basic of business of and work more efficiently with it. I want to make sure that you can make the most of business hub and that your business will grow using it. Okay, now let's get back and explore more sections and features. To build great product and features for your brand and your user, first you need to make sure that you know your users. The user research section helps you to collect your research insights, organize them and give them more meaning than a few texts and numbers. You can collect your observation, user testing and user interviews and share them with everyone on the team. With the rainbow analysis, you can identify the pain and needs pattern and use the data to find the most painful section of your product and the most important need of your user based on the total mention they get on the user testing and interview sessions. Managing your marketing goals, tasks, and mission, and keeping everything planned and organized is crucial to your business and startup success. Let's jump into the marketing management section and explore its features. We have marketing plans with carefully created specialized subsections to help plan all aspects of your marketing teams, tasks, and progress. We have builds for the marketing and design team, 
with more subsections to write, share, and manage briefs for each project. With its pyramid brief templates, the only things you need to do is to fill in the information and mention the brief in the tasks, emails, and etc. This section is synced with the main brief management section, so you can make change here or there. And we have Sprints too, which help you plan and shrink your marketing team's tasks into two week cycles and this makes tracking and achieving the goals and tasks easier. With emojis, you can see which sprint is in progress, which has ended and which is planned and ready to get started. Also, you can use the retrospective section to get feedback on each sprint and improve your cycles. And again, sprints and retrospective sections are synced with the main sprints and retrospectives, where you can analyze all teams' sprints together without having to switch between many pages to understand your team's progress. Inside Gerosov, we have a marketing strategy and market research which I show you later. But now, let's see the plans and goals sections. Here, we have two main sections, company objective and OKRs. You need to set up the yearly objective of your company. Then, you can use the OKR management and tracker system to carefully share the yearly objective into quarterly objective and key results and assign them to your teams and leaders. This system will change everything in your business. I was able to achieve more than what I expected from my teams. Two years ago, no one heard of Doplin name, and now each month thousands of people search for Doplin's product, or it's part of their work stack, and use it every day, referring it to their friends and etc. This OKR system was created originally by Andy Gru and used in companies like Google. There are more sections with more subsections to explore in Business Hub. But now, I will let you discover every single thing about Business Hub, Notion, Workspace on your own. As I'm baking more sections and features for Business Hub, you can get future updates and improvements without having to buy it again. I hope you can improve your business management with the Business Hub.